my brothers and sisters in Christ, so Lent is almost over. Uh, it's coming to an end. It's a week from today. It's going to be Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week. So we are almost there. We can see the goal. So this Sunday, especially, we are getting ready. And the church in the readings of today's Mass uh, is uh, preparing us to meet Jesus in a new way. Just as the prophet Isaiah says in the first reading, Thus says the Lord, Remember not the events of the past, the things of long ago consider not. See, I'm doing something new. So what is this new way? It is Jesus Christ who came to earth to redeem us from our sins. The love and mercy of God shown in his only son, Jesus Christ. And today's reading really takes us to the heart of the gospel, the tender mercy of our God. This is what we see in today's passage of the gospel. Scribes and the Pharisees are testing Jesus. They are looking for some charge that they can bring to prosecute him. So they find this woman who was caught in the act of adultery, and they bring her to him in the temple area. Now, as we heard in the law of Moses, the punishment for this sin, this crime, was the death penalty. The scribes and the Pharisees want to see what Jesus is going to do. Would he agree that this woman deserves to die for her sins? Or will he say they should set her free? And I was thinking that we also need to understand that somehow this woman's story is our own story. This woman starts, stands before Jesus as the whole human race, all through history. As the whole human race, all through history, stands before the eyes of God. What do we deserve for our sins, for our failings? We know what God wants. Even before he gave us the Ten Commandments, he wrote his law in our hearts. Every one of us knows in our heart how we should live, how we should treat other people. We all want to be good, aren't we? We want to do what is right, and yet we fall again and again. But it is not because we are bad people. It is because we are human. And we need God to help us, to save us. God knows all, all this about us. He knows your heart and my heart better than we know ourselves. He loves us in our humanity, in our fallen nature. He doesn't always like what we do. But he loves us with a love that will never end. As we know, Jesus did not come for the righteous. He came to save sinners. And that means you and me, every one of us. And this is a beautiful mystery of God's love for us. Even though we are sinners, he comes to bear our sins. He comes to die for us. So we can be forgiven. This is the beautiful plan of God, God's love for us. God loves us no matter what. No matter we have, we, what we have done or what we have failed to do. We are God's own possession, as St. Paul tells us in the second reading today. And we hear the same reading, the same message in the first reading. 
We are God's chosen people, the people he formed for himself. This is who you are to God. And God is never going to let you go. Never. This is why, reflecting on the uh, passage of the gospel, this is why those beautiful words that we hear from Jesus in today's gospels are so important. Neither do I condemn you. Go. And from now, from now on, do not sin anymore. My dear brothers and sisters, these are words of freedom. God's, loves, God's love breaks into our lives as liberation. God did not send his son into the world to condemn us. He sent his son to save us. We know that. But we need to reflect as we are coming to the beautiful time of Holy Week, to reflect on what this Holy Week is all about. It's about Jesus Christ coming to redeem us. So let's reflect on that, especially this week, as we prepare for Holy Week. Uh, Jesus, at the same time, does not excuse the woman's sin or pretend that it's not important. But he doesn't condemn her for it either. He condemns sin, but not the sinner. And isn't it beautiful? that we have the same grace available to us every time we go to confession. So I would also I think that our gospel today is a good reminder for each one of us of the importance of during this Lenten season making a good confession. Because in confession, we, are, we, are, we stand before Jesus in the person of the priest just as this woman does in today's gospel. And the priest brings us the same words that, that, that she heard, those beautiful words of Jesus, of mercy and forgiveness. Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. This is what Holy Week is all about. This is what this Lenten season has been preparing us for. This is the salvation that Jesus brings to us. This is the new thing that God is doing in Jesus. But let's keep trying to reflect as we prepare for Holy Week on how important it is for us to understand God's love for each one of us and at the same time, let's try to acknowledge our sinfulness and taking advantage especially of the, of the beauty of the sacrament of reconciliation when we feel that God's love and forgiveness <coughs> in our daily life. So, this week as we continue our, in our Lenten journey, let us try to reflect on the many ways that we can find God's love working in our lives. And maybe another practical thing that we can do is uh, to try to make a special effort this week not to condemn other people, not to be so judgmental. Let us try to show others the mercy that God shows to us. And may Mary, our Blessed Mother, help us to keep looking forward to the celebration of Holy Week and then the uh, joy of uh, witnessing the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ on Easter Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.